I'm often asked by patients in my clinics who are taking statins, is there anything to help with muscle aches or do you recommend any supplements for muscle aches if you are taking a statin? So in this video, I'm going to answer these questions by talking about one particular vitamin-like substance called CoQ10 or sometimes called coenzyme Q10. Now this vitamin has mounting evidence to suggest that this helps with muscle aches when you are taking a statin and it does much more. I will explain everything you need to know about what it does, how do you take it and what foods contain it and how do you know if you have low CoQ10. So let's get started with seven facts you need to know. Number one, what is CoQ10? CoQ10 occurs naturally within every cell in the human body and we cannot live without it. It's a vitamin-like substance which is found in our mitochondria and these are little powerhouse structures within our cells responsible for energy production. CoQ10 is also important as an antioxidant which means it helps in protecting our cells from free radicals. Free radicals damage our cell membranes, can alter DNA, and may even cause cell death. So here are some fun facts about CoQ10. Approximately three quarters of the body's CoQ10 is made within the liver. You can obtain small amounts of CoQ10 from food. Our CoQ10 levels peak between the ages of 20 and 25, and the body's ability to manufacture and absorb CoQ10 declines with age. I also want to briefly mention that there are many names of CoQ10 and one can easily get confused. So here's a quick snapshot of the different names. So number two, what are the sources of CoQ10 from your diet? CoQ10 is found naturally in certain foods but it is much lower than the amount that is found in dietary supplements. So here is a list of eight of the best and richest dietary sources. Number one, beef. Number two, pork. Number three, chicken. Number four, fish such as sardines, salmon, tuna and mackerel. Number five, oil such as olive oil or sunflower oil. Number six, nuts like peanuts, pistachios, walnuts or hazelnuts. Number seven, vegetables, parsley, spinach, broccoli or cauliflower. Number eight, fruits such as avocado, grape, blackcurrant, strawberry or orange. Fact number three, what are the benefits of CoQ10? Now generally, most healthy people should have enough naturally. However, there is evidence to suggest that by adding more in the form of CoQ10 supplements may be beneficial. And here is a list of 10 health benefits of taking CoQ10 and the science papers to back this up. So number one, for heart health. It can help prevent the buildup of plaque in the arteries by reducing the oxidation of LDL cholesterol, or sometimes called bad cholesterol, which would contribute to heart attacks and strokes. CoQ10 is also shown to help regulate high blood pressure. Number two, taking statin medications reduces the body's own cholesterol production by interrupting a particular biochemical pathway. This pathway is also the same method the body uses to produce its own CoQ10 and as a result, statin use is associated with a range of side effects consistent with CoQ10 depletion. So CoQ10 supplements can help reduce side effects such as muscle pain and tiredness that we will discuss later. Number three for diabetes. According to studies, CoQ10 improves insulin sensitivity and helps improve type 2 diabetes results. Number four, Parkinson's disease and Alzheimer's disease. CoQ10 may reduce harmful compounds leading to oxidative damage and to brain diseases 
so it may slow down the progression of Alzheimer's disease and Parkinson's disease. Number 5. For bleeding gums, CoQ10 supplements have been shown to reduce regular gum bleeding and low levels of CoQ10 have been identified in those with gum disease. Number 6. In fibromyalgia and chronic fatigue syndrome, research shows that CoQ10 can help reduce pain, fatigue and tiredness in sufferers of fibromyalgia, while chronic fatigue syndrome sufferers show signs of low Q10 levels. Number 7. Energy and exercise. Studies show that CoQ10 reduces muscle damage caused by exercise while supporting athletic performance. Number 8. Migraine headaches. Administering CoQ10 seems to help in the prevention and treatment of migraines because it boosts mitochondrial function and lessens inflammation. Number 9. Infertility. CoQ10 research shows that supplementation can improve both male and female fertility and can even improve fertility treatments such as IVF. And number 10. In breast cancer, prostate cancer, lung and skin cancer and myeloma, according to studies, people with cancer have decreased levels of CoQ10. Therefore, low levels of CoQ10 have been linked with higher risk of cancer. So fact number four, what are the symptoms of low CoQ10? Reduced CoQ10 levels leads to decreased energy production. Muscles get tired faster, heart performance decreases, and the efficiency of nerve cells and the production of antibodies by the immune system reduces. This results in fatigue and weakness. So some factors that can reduce CoQ10 include side effects of certain medications like cholesterol-lowering medication, like statins, which we will talk about later, or if you are under constant stress, or if you have a vitamin B6 deficiency, or if you have any intestinal disorders, or any genetic defects in CoQ10 synthesis or utilization. And there is much more, but I won't go into this in this video. Fact number five, how do you take CoQ10 supplements? The CoQ10 supplements come in different forms, such as a capsule, tablet, oral spray, or as a chewable tablet. How much CoQ10 you should take daily depends on the condition that you are treating. Different studies used different amounts, but typically the normal dose is between 100 and 200 milligrams a day. It's best absorbed with food, so I'd take it with your biggest meal, but in the first half of the day as it can cause sleeping difficulty or insomnia in some people. Ubiquinone is the most absorbable form of CoQ10 as the body doesn't need to convert it first before using it. It reaches optimal levels in your blood after about two to three weeks, but the benefits won't be seen usually for several months for conditions like migraine headaches or for lowering blood pressure. Now, if you are planning on taking more than 300 milligrams a day, and if you have underlying liver problems, I check with your healthcare provider first before starting a supplement just to be on the safe side. So fact number six, what are the common side effects? CoQ10 seems to be pretty well tolerated even at higher doses and the most common side effects include nausea, diarrhea and heartburn. Fact number seven, does CoQ10 interact with other medications? CoQ10 is reported to interact with blood thinners, specifically warfarin, thyroid medications, as well as some chemotherapy agents. So please just check with your doctor before starting them as they know your medications and your health better than I do. And fact number eight, answering the question about whether you should take CoQ10 for side effects, such as muscle pains with taking statin medication. Statin medications do lower your body's levels of CoQ10 and statins are also known to cause problems such as muscle aches and this can be severe enough that some people stop taking them for cholesterol control. 
Now you can watch my video on atorvastatin and rosuvastatin to find out more about it and I will leave a link below. This is because statin medication doesn't allow the liver to synthesize CoQ10 and as the years go by, this can't be replaced by just eating CoQ10 rich foods. As I mentioned earlier, there is mounting evidence that CoQ10 supplementation may help to prevent or treat the adverse effects such as muscle pains and tiredness while taking statins. In my personal experience, I've seen patients who have taken CoQ10 very successfully for muscle aches from statins. I would encourage you to give it a try to see if it helps as it has so many other benefits, but obviously it's ultimately your decision to make. Now, if you've enjoyed watching, please give this video a like. And if you found it helpful, hit the subscribe button for new videos that are posted every single week and hit the bell to get notified when I post new videos. And please let me know in the comments what you enjoyed about this video or what you'd like to learn more about. Also, take a look at my playlist on medication side effects. And thank you for watching.